Hello everyone. I'm very excited to be joining the Close to My Heart Twisters Sisters YouTube Hop featuring the new May-June 2021 catalogue where we take one of the products from the catalogue and show a twisted way to use it. Today I'm going to be showing a twist on the stamp of the month for May which is the flowers for you. Usually when we look at floral images and think of coloring them, we think about coloring inside the lines and making them look pretty and making designs, coloring within the stamped image. But today I'm going to color outside the lines and show three different techniques. The first technique I'm going to show you is using our tri-blend Spectrum Noir markers. I have both sets, so with some of the sets, there are two similar tones. So the blue turquoise has blend and then it has blue turquoise shades. So I'm going to use both of these to color outside the lines. The first thing I'm going to do is just trace around the outside of the stamped image, which I have purposefully stamped off the edge of the corner of this tag. And then with the darkest color, I'm just going to go around and color this section of the tag in, and then I'll be blending the colors up. So starting with the darkest one in the shades, I'm going to then go through all of the colors until I get to the lightest color of the blue turquoise light shade. So you don't have to be perfect with doing this. I am using quite large circles. And then once I've done the dark, I move on to the mid and blend over the top. And then I'll go to the light. And then I'll go to the blue turquoise blend and use the dark. So I'll speed up this process. And then you can see I get the effect of using the darkest color of the blue turquoise shades through to the lightest color of the blue turquoise blend. And that gives a great graduated feel. But to blend it a little bit more, I'm going to go back in with the mid of both of these colors and just go over the top. Bring the light back in just a little. And I'll go to the mid of the shades and do the same thing for this area here. So it's just working it until I've got the blend that I want. As these inks dry, because they go on very wet, they tend to blend a bit more. I'm just adding a little bit more depth down to the bottom. So I'm quite happy with that. So that is the finished look. And now I'm going to twist this just a little bit more by bringing in the stitched fancy brackets from the core catalogue. And I'm going to make a tag. We do have our tags and tab thin cuts, but I want this decorative edge and I want the stitched bit at the top. So I'm going to turn this around, feed my tag through, and then I will secure this with some washi tape and run it through the die cutting machine. So now I can just peel off my washi tape and I've got a lovely stitched element at the top of my custom made tag. Now if I was going to use this as a tag, you can see all the coloring on the back. So what I need to do is just make another one with white just to hide that coloring in. Just a case of adhering the two pieces together. And then to finish off my tag, I'm just going to put an enamel dot right here. 
So it's as simple as that. You don't have to worry about coloring inside of the lines. You can just color outside and get a really effective piece. The next thing I'm going to show you is with coloring again, but instead of using all of the different colors, we're going to do it in black. So it is the same technique where you just start by tracing around the edges of the stamped image. But once you've gone around some of these elements, when you go to do the coloring in, you can use the other end, which is the chisel tip, to get really quick coverage. It doesn't take that long to do at all. So when I've stamped this piece, I've used the large circle and then I've filled in elements with the smaller images on the stamp. So there's not too much outside coloring that I need to do. Now with black, what I like to do once I've done the coloring is to go along the edges to finish it off because that's a white edge. And with all the heavy black here, it just looks so much better. And I just use the chisel tip and gently run it around the edges of the piece that I've worked on. And that gives a nice definition and finishes off the coloring. The next technique I'm going to show you is coloring outside the lines using Distress Oxide inks. So you can see here, I've done some masking with seedless preserves and also picked raspberry. But I thought I'd show you on a bigger piece. So this is one that I've stamped off earlier. And what I've done is created some post-it note masks. These post-it notes are full sticky underneath. It's not just the top section. So they're really great for techniques like this. And then I just have to line them up. So now that I've got all of those lined up, I can bring in my Distress Oxide inks. Now the reason why I've got this post-it note is so that it sticks to my fingers and I can hold the piece in place and I'm not going to get ink all over my fingers and contaminate. I'm going to go in quite heavily and I want to bear in mind that I want colours of both the purple and the blue. happy with how that looks so I'll just pack everything up so I'm just going to get my water brush squeeze a little bit of water onto my all-purpose mat and tap it off things you can see it already starting to react to the water I can bring in my paper towel and just get it reacting even more it's taking away more of the color and I can save these masks to use them again a couple more times but you can see what I mean the whole back is sticky for this post-it note it wouldn't work quite as well with the ones that have just got the sticky part at the top I'm really happy with how the end result of the Seedless Preserves runs through the middle and the Peacock Feathers comes in. And I'm going to edge this with my marker to finish it off. It just gives a finished edge, especially where the stamped image is up against the edge of the white daisy paper. Here are the pieces that we just worked with. You can see the three here that are done with the tri-blend markers. This one with the shading, if you just had one of the colors, you could do the dark to light, so the three different shades, but I wanted to experiment with all six different colors that are contained within the two blue turquoise markers. Coloring in with the black marker in the negative 
space rather than within the image itself gives a very graphic look and you don't have to do it with just black you can do it with other colors as well and then bringing in distress oxide inks to color outside the lines as well gives another look and then you can splash with some water these two tags here are also done the same way that we did the blue turquoise i've used the coral colors and also the jade green just to give the graduation here. The title and this element here is from Retired, I think it's stitched together. And then I've done some ink smooshing and some splattering with the black shimmer brush. And I've used a Retired mix-in paper. This is the peach shimmer brush behind as well, just to bring in, it matches really well with the coral markers and I just wanted to bring that color across the page. This is the black and white version. So these are colored with the black marker. Using this as a border and then edging with a zip strip, which is from the new mix-in papers. And then I've brought in some stickers from a previous collection for the title and added some dots. If you wanted to bring in more color to the page, you could use the other border that we created today and bring in the one that we use the Distress Oxide inks on. And that just pops up the color quite a bit on this page and gives a totally different look. Don't forget that this is part of a YouTube hop with the Close to My Heart Twisted Sisters. And I've got a full list of participants in the description below, along with links to all the products that I've used. Following me is Dolly Boyd. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, I would love it if you would consider liking and then subscribing to my channel. Bye for now.